on your countertop. So stay with us. We're going to show you right here on this countertop, right during this live. We're going to give you all the details on how you can make your Formica or any hard surfaces that you have look like Carrera stone and marble. I think you're going to love this if you're a DIYer. I think you're going to really enjoy this process. We're using our product called Faux Pas. And during this live, we're also going to be telling about a great offer to get yourself a 36% savings on all of these products. We're also doing a giveaway during the live. So if you'll comment right here and also share to your timeline, tag a friend, the two of you are both going to win. So $50 is what we're giving away. And uh, let's talk about how we're going to get started doing this. First thing I'm using right now, we've already given this a good cleaning and then we put on a coat of Colosseum. We did the brush and roll technique here and it almost looks too pretty to paint over. But we're going to give it a little love and we're going to show how gorgeous this looks. I'm going to use our tintable antiquing gel. And as we go along, I'm going to tell you why we're using that versus paint. I'm going to put in two spoons of tintable antiquing gel. That's going to add some translucent to my paint, plus keep the open time extended. I'm also now going to add one teaspoon of cobblestone. And that's going to give me a pretty gray, and that's very similar to what you see in Carrera marble. So that's what the look we're going oh, for here is. You did that backwards. Did I? Mm-hmm. Two to one. Uh-oh. Well, if it's two to one, then let me go ahead and add in another one of that. Now we got it one to one. Now I'll add in another one. We're two to one. <laughs> How you fix Wait, that? No, you have to add one more. You have to add one more. You have to add one more to be two to one. Yep, one more. One yeah. more cobbles now. It's okay because we probably need it here. Mm -hmm. We got a whole kitchen. Dude. Two to one. So two of go. the <laughs> antiquing gel. Two cobblestone. Two cobblestone to one of the tintable, tintable antique. antique. There so you that's go. enough. Okay, sorry. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm not good on cooking. Uh, so don't listen to me. Listen to her. Okay? <laughs> you could do it. There's no wrong or right. You would just try it. And if it didn't work, if you mixed your two to two, one to one ratio and you didn't like it, you could always add more to get it more translucent. So that's what it's doing. It's giving it some glide and I'll show you why. All right. We're going to, um, wipe off my little boo-boos here. It's not a biggie because we're going to be adding all this great texture. All right. So using the faux pas, I'm going to put it on my left hand. I am right handed, but I'm going to put it on my left. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to use my roller. I'm going to go right into this and roll on with one of my rollers. I'm going to roll right on this whole tool. And if you can see that, if you can see what we got going on here, mm -hmm. it's going to give us that impression, that beautiful veining and that pretty impression of what stone looks like. And I've got a mess going everywhere here. I'm slinging it everywhere because it doesn't really matter because we're going to be toning this whole countertop. I'm going to make some decisions here. Anytime you're looking at stone and see big slabs of knackle stone, you're going to notice they always have a fault line in them. And they sometimes will go corner to corner. You can kind of make a vertical right on your piece on a 45 degree angle. Just kind of start off with that in your mind. Look at your piece, look at your countertop and decide, I'm going to make my angles go this way because that would be pretty. And then we'll make some little tributaries off of that as we carry on. I'm going to go corner right toward that corner. Just starting off making an impression here. And rolling it when I feel like I need a little more on there. Just put some pressure on there. You can go lighter or darker. And this is probably not so easy to see online. I hope no, you can see what we're see doing. It. We can see it pretty good. So it's not going to look natural at this point. So just know that. It's going to look very like uh, we stamped it with some sort of a little stamp. Okay? But hang tight. Hang tight. Don't give up. We're following along with you here. Okay. Just follow on. All right, this is a big counter. Oh, there, we gonna, go. there we go. I'm going to get a little flip. It doesn't matter. You can turn it. You can do all sorts of fun here. All right, just took a little lighter there toward the back. Can't get good pressure. I'm just going to go down the center of it now. Just put some of it on the very middle mm -hmm. piece. And I want to show you why I'm doing that. I'm going to come right off here to the side. I'm not going to go perfectly straight. I'm just going to make some impressions. Mm -hmm. just going to let it stamp its way out. I don't want this to be a... <laughs> hard line like that was. Just going to keep going right over okay. here, just adding some down the middle, mm -hmm. random. Okay, we'll try to get Looking this good so whole far. area for you. Mm -hmm. And I am watching for your questions, guys. It's just Please uh, ask them. If you see something that you would like to know a little bit about, say something. Right now it won't look very believable. Just hang with us a little bit. Now I'm going to turn and go right up this backsplash. I want this to look like a mm -hmm. continuous piece of stone. Whatever was happening here, Melissa, mm -hmm. take this and stick it right over there, right where that kind of rolled up on there. Just mm -hmm. give me a stamp. Could mm -hmm. you please? Sorry, mm -hmm. she had no idea I was going to do that. Mm -hmm. 
Just give me, give me a little more. Come on down this way with it. Down just here? Get, yeah, do it again. Yeah, just do it again. Can't go wrong here. Well, toward the bottom, toward the base. In there? I, yeah, I want it to kind of roll curl? in there. Yeah, if you can, just bend it. Let the, let the material bend in there. Perfect. You're just pressing the end. Get down. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a quick here. <laughs> it's just not getting in there. That's all right. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm coming at it from an odd angle you here. Are. You are. So let's go. I'm going to just show you. You take this and maybe bend it into this corner. Maybe this will show it there what I'm go. trying to do. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to give it a bend and pressing it basically into that corner just so you can get it to make a print. Then, there, yours isn't doing it either. No. <laughs> Not completely. So taking your brush, you want it to carry on in there. You know what I mean? That's what mm -hmm. I was showing you to do is take mm -hmm. the brush. Just kind of dab it up on there, you know? Soften it on in there like it just carried on. Now, here, mm -hmm. do that over there. Blend them mm -hmm. together for me. Mm -hmm. And come up on the top. So this looks like one big piece. Now we're going to take our dry roller. That's all we're going to do right here. We'll take our dry roller. We'll start rolling through this. And the reason that we used that antiquing was so we could run this dry roller through it and soften it and just kind of blur. You see what's happening here? It's just mm -hmm. picking up a little bit of the leftover and little areas that had enough on it and starting to kind of blend it out. See how that's flir flaring out the design? We're also going to go around the edge too. That's something else we should have mm -hmm. done here. Just carry these fault lines right over the edge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just tap them a little bit. There we go. <laughs> just let it Jared's come trying on. to anticipate where you're going. <laughs> well, that probably ain't easy to no. do at this moment. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm going to have to get mm -hmm. you to help me over mm -hmm. there, Melissa. Yep. So now we're starting to see it start to look like something. You're going, hmm, is that looking like mm -hmm. marble? Not probably yet, but mm -hmm. just keep on rolling. Mm -hmm. Keep on dry rolling it. Um, so Anne Louise wants to know, what is the base color we started with? Coliseum. Mm -hmm. It's the same color that's on the cabinets mm -hmm. here. And we just did that live maybe about an hour ago. So if you didn't see that, uh, just comment here and customer support will share that video with you or you can just go right back to our timeline here and look for that video right here. Would you stamp some on that yes, front panel for me sure please? Will. And I'll get you some on mm -hmm. here while she's doing that. Yeah. Then we're going to start into the white. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to make it look really good. Now. Can you take that for me? Oh, sure. Sorry. I've got enough hands here. Mm-hmm. Now, we're going to go into the whitewash antiquing gel, and that's where this is going to begin to really look like something. And, oh, that's not whitewash. Get the wrong one. Whitewash. Can I have your dry roller, too, please? That's not whitewash either. That's what, where am I at? Oh, sitting right in front of me. Sorry. <laughs> too many little cans, all the same. Whitewash is going to give us the softening, and it's going to give us that swirly white kind of um, hard to even tell what's going on. We'll start in the middle so you can see what's happening, okay? So we're going to go right in the center. Mm -hmm. We're going to just kind of put it on in a circle. We're going to remove in a circle. It's going to give us that translucent look that granite has and stones and quartz and soapstone. All of those have those looks that the color is deep. So that's mm -hmm. what that's going to give you is that feeling of um, that you can see through the color, but you can't tell me what color it is, you know? It's hard to explain, kind of like I was telling you the other day, it's kind of like the ocean. It's down in there, it's the depth. Can you see that? Yep, we're zoomed in on it. Doesn't it look great? Mm -hmm. It really it's looks real. It's a very real. subtle look, which is how Carrera Marble it's really is. Subtle. It's very subtle, so you just keep layering that till you get it looking like you love it. Just remove in that soft circle. It's gonna give you all of that. Now we're not done with adding on the pattern just yet, so don't, don't give up. Okay, you can stop anywhere you want, but just kind of thinking those terms that we're going to layer until we make it as natural and as soft, and that opacity that stone has is going to start taking place here mm -hmm. as we continue to layer the whites. What do you guys think? Are you seeing the vision? Yes. Doesn't that mm -hmm. look real? Mm -hmm. So we didn't do a lot. Not a lot mm -hmm. of pattern here. Not a lot. But so that's would just you cover the whole counter with that. Mm -hmm. Yes, with this white? Yes, that white. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it really believable, is, is the white, mm -hmm. oddly. The gray's there, but it's so it looks like it's deep within that slab, you know? Mm -hmm. And we are shooting this in horizontal, so if you guys want, you can turn your phone sideways, and you can see a really nice picture of it. Oh, yeah, turn your phone. If you're phone. watching it on the vertical, mm -hmm. you're not seeing it as great as you can be. We've started shooting our lives horizontal, just so you can see better. 
and uh, Facebook is liking that better today. They're wanting us to shoot everything in the landscape versus like we were shooting for years in portrait. All right, so I'm just going to keep on going. I'm going over the pattern the most right now, just so you can kind of see it softening up. But I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going over the entire counter. You need help? May have to get you to help mm -hmm. in a sec here. And we're going to show you here in just a second how to navigate uh, around the sink, which I know is probably going to be some questions you guys are going to have. So we're going to do this whole kitchen countertop with you. So hang tight. Um, Holly's asking about shine. Um, Holly, we are going to be adding a waterproof, uh, water resistant sealer to it. We're not going to be doing that today, so we got to wait 48 hours for the paint uh, to dry out before we can do that. But it does have a little more sheen to it than the paint does. But not a shine, because remember, stones generally are honed. They're not shiny. Mm -hmm. You don't polish granite and stones today. I mean, some people have them that are shiny, but most everybody is going after a sheen versus a shine, so they do a honed finish. So Paul, we got a lot of questions coming in about sure. um, after someone has painted their countertops, after they've done the water resistant sealer, mm -hmm. how do they care for their countertops? Any household cleaners that you've been using, no matter what they are, if they're green products or if they're uh, Clorox, so on, you can still use those just like you've used them. The only thing you need to be careful of is don't use something that has any kind of a grit or anything that would be a scrubbing type product like Comet or um, any of those Ajax type cleaners. I don't think most people use those anymore, but just don't use them. You don't want to abrase the countertop. Mm -hmm. You want to be sure and just try to wipe it and clean it, but not anything abrasive. That's going to cut through your finish and you don't want to do that. All right, we're going to put some more stamps on the back here, Mel. Okay. You want to do that for me? On the back? Right, sure. well, on this little ledge here. And I'm going to, well, that's all right. I'll do it in a sec. Where? I'll, I'll finish it. I'll finish it when we're not on the live on this edge over here because I'm going to put the white on for them. Okay, so we have that. So now we're going to I add followed them. your pattern down. Where else does it need it? It just needed a little more on the back here because it's not in that edge. But that's okay. It's fine. Be good. I'm going to put a few more so you can see that it's got a little, little something going on on that edge. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is add in. You want to come down like right in here? Yeah, just got, a little bit. I mean, I've got the stamp full you got of thing. It? You just, sure. I just didn't understand. You want like right here? Sure. Go. It's probably dry. No, I'm still stamping. Is it working? Mm -hmm. All right, just give me a little pattern down there. Now, How I far need down do you want me to go? Well, I need that one really. Just give me your stamper. Give me your stamp. I'm going to wipe this off because I'm going to put on now the little highlight. And this is really what sets it off. Really, really the part that I like the best <laughs> is this. Jared, you're probably going to need to go close on this. All right, so using white antiquing, mm -hmm. we're going to really add the drama to this and the believability to it. I just wiped off the faux pas. Just simply wiped it off. I'm going to add in this last little stamp of just a nice pop of the white coming through. And this is the whitewash antiquing job. The whitewash that we just put over it, swirled over it. Just adding in that little bit of glitter, glimmer, whatever you want to call it. Just a softening to it. And I'm going to quickly go through that and roll it out. We have some people that were asking if we could try uh, roller, did I give right it here. To you? Sorry. If we could use the metallic antiquing gels you if we can. wanted. Everybody asked that question. Yes, mm -hmm. you can. It's gonna soft roll that out. And that's gonna kind of flare that out a little bit. Do this a little quicker than you did with the gray. You wanna get this to not show up hard. You want it to be there. Just light little pops of that coming out. It's there, but it's not the first thing you see. Now you could make other texture here, and I am going to do that. For some, this is just plain, and there's nothing going on over here in these areas. I'm just going to hit them because I want them to feel like there's some movement here too. Not a lot. Just that little bit of the white coming to life. Okay. 
every stone is unique and different. Mm -hmm. So you can't have a wrong here. There's just no way to make it wrong. So anyone can absolutely do this. Anybody can do this. No skill mm -hmm. really is required mm -hmm. other than just watching what you're doing and trying to uh, emulate the stone. Mm -hmm. You can print something off. I think Melissa has a good idea. Find something that you like online. Mm -hmm. have, you can even you don't even have to print it off. Just have it up on your phone keep and looking back, keep yeah. looking back at it and follow the pattern that you see on your phone and kind of just try to mimic along with it. That's the easy way. That'll give you some confidence too, mm -hmm. um, because yours is gonna look like mine no matter what I do or show you today. Mm -hmm. When you get started, yours is gonna look different. Yep. It'll have the right tones if you follow these. If you follow what we're doing here, mm -hmm. the tones will be the same, but your yep. pattern won't print exactly the same, obviously. Paula keeps moving around on us here, oh, so I'm sorry. Jared's trying to f move around on her. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we are using our Career Marble Kit, and I'm going to go over the products because a lot of people are asking. So I'm we used again. cobblestone, and what we did was we mixed it in with our Tinnable Antiquing Gel uh, so that we could have the fluidity of an antiquing gel. So that's why we actually created the uh, Tinnable version. So you can mix it with any of the 30 colors of antiquing, or any of the 30 colors of the all-in-one paint. So if you don't like this particular color pattern, although it looks the most true to Carrera Marble, uh, you could get a different color and you could definitely mix it in with sure. the antiquing gel, Tinnable antiquing gel. We've got some people asking that question. You can make a pink version or red version, <laughs> whatever you want to do, you can do yeah. it. Yep. You can make a black with red lines and you know, there's nothing stopping you to be creative. Whatever you've got in your mind, you can do. Whatever yep. decor you have, you want to make a great look for your counters, you can do that. Yep. So very first step we did was we deglossed the counters. We painted a base coat of Colosseum. Uh, this particular one only took us one because it was already a light color, uh, very close to Colosseum actually, but it might take you two. So you paint your base coat, then we mixed our antiquing gel, our, uh, the tenable cobblestone into the tenable antiquing gel. We stamped that on with the faux pas. And then Paula did the white wash where she rubbed it on, wiped it back, and then now she's doing the stamping of the white wash to give it that extra pop of the bright white. I think that really helps it also. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to let this dry 48 hours and then we're going to come back and do three coats with three hours dry time between each of the water resistant sealer and then it's going to take three days for that to dry and then we can return this countertop to use. So a lot of people were asking about when can they start putting things back on their countertops like their Just wait. You appliances. don't want to scratch it. You yep. know it's going to be tender <laughs> inside. You don't want to start scuffing it up because right. you'd have to go back and try and recreate and match that pattern. Mm -hmm. That would not be fun. Right. So three days after you put on your final coat of the water resistant top coat is when you can start putting things back on your counters. So your counters are going to be out of commission for about five days. So just know that going into it, plan that. Um, Hey, I'm always looking for a good excuse to not have to cook for five days, I think. Uh, uh, you can use your kitchen. Just uh, 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 lay uh, something uh, 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 down. Don't you take that away from me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, your your husband and watching. That kitchen is closed for five days. <laughs> kitchen is closed. Closed. Most people cannot do without their kitchen five days now. You know that. <laughs> you might. You tell take them. Out. I give you permission to just cut Paula's little amount or what she just said right out of this video. You don't have you, to listen to that. You but. just use what I said and you show that right to your husband. <laughs> and tell him to go <laughs> go out and eat. We got a Uber Eats this week, honey. I mean, hey, we all got used to doing that through this <laughs> pandemic anyway, so. All right. Um, what do you think? You like it? Uh-huh. You love it? You yep. like it? I'm asking Heather, what do you think? You like it? I like it. You want it softer? No, less? We can soften mm -hmm. it. We can go over it with mm -hmm. the white again. I think let's show them, uh, before we jump off here, let's show them how, how we're going to deal with that backsplash. I think that's a real big question people have. Behind the what, sink. Can oh, we do that? What do you mean? What behind you the sink? About? Like, oh, over there? Mm -hmm. Yee, I don't know. I don't know that I can get in there. Oh, you're saying with the tool, how am yeah. I going to go in there? Mm -hmm. Just like I was showing you to do mashing it up there. I know. Let's see about that. Let's see what we can do here. Let me see if I can get over here. Okay. Give Jared just a second to get settled here. All right, let's see what we can do. So kind of how we did that. There we go. We're gonna go with the... Uh, so Paula, he's on the right side of the sink with you. Gotcha. Now I've got white on here, but I'm gonna go ahead and put more of the gray right on this. 
we're going to finish this, by the way. Is everybody commenting and sharing so you're in the they running are. here? Mm -hmm. For All right, so let's just put a little here, and I'm not going to get crazy with it here. Mm -hmm. Just something. Just to add a little texture, and then I'm going to take off here with the vein going that way. If you can hold it. <laughs> It's easier when it's attached to your hand, but you gotta take I it know, off to I bend it. Your hand doesn't bend that I way, know, huh? That's exactly why I don't. I haven't reconnected it to my hand. <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting a lot of the back of your head here. We're trying. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm a wiggler today. Something else you can do, and I highly suggest, is going right down the center only, just to kind of get that center mark to happen. So you that's that's a good point. Hole. So the faux pas has basically three three veins down it. Yep. And you can choose to ink up, for lack of a better term, just because we all know that term when it comes to stamps. Um, ink up the whole thing, or just ink, that center, or just the just the center. Yeah. I'm just going to do the center here because this is a small area. <laughs> I don't want to get crazy with it over here. Jared's trying to figure out where all your going. You do not know. <laughs> You do not know where I'm heading yeah. next. I'll I'll touch the wall. Right here. <laughs> you just leave it. You just leave it. They're going to get drunk because they're going to seasick over here. <laughs> I'm just going to do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a slight something here just to give it a little definition in the back. What's funny is when I paint without a camera on, I literally talk to myself through the part. I talk. <laughs> through the project. Even if I don't say it out loud in my head, I talk through the project. No, we're going to do it. We're going to be psychotic uh -huh. from all these lives I here know. later it's in life. It's crazy. You know that, right? This is going to cause us even to be things, Even things that aren't paint related, I do. <laughs> I remember my mother talking to herself through the years. I thought, she was crazy. <laughs> now I do it. <laughs> I do it too. Sometimes I dream about the project and we're going to mm -hmm. do all right, Otherwise. one of you's got to put a camera on her now. I do. <laughs> I don't know which way is going to be better. Anybody know where I'm at? Yeah, we, we got you now. <laughs> All right, so we're just stamping a little, stamping a little. Ooh, I need to dry roll some things here. <laughs> I'm running out of ideas. Dry roll, dry roll. <laughs> Uh, Dorothy, the colors on the cabinets, we've got Coliseum on the uppers and weather vane on the lowers. Uh, some areas have two coats on them and some just have one, so we are still in process of painting. So if you see some areas that are looking a little ugly, uh, just know that they are still <laughs> on the ugly coat and that's why. One of them, some of them only have one coat. Mm -hmm. <sighs> They're still ugly. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we will be posting uh, the application of the waterproof coating, but if you don't want to wait, you can see that um, here in our videos on our page, Heirloom Traditions Paint, where we have already done that on a one-piece cultured marble uh, sink countertop where we did inside the sink and the countertop itself. I'm not lying. We have posted that video, correct? Okay. That does look great right there. That looks excellent isn't that pretty how that looked on that look real right there mm -hmm. from here it does it does up close mm -hmm. too Even now this, the spot behind the countertop is looking a little here patterny patterny it won't in a minute i'm gonna tone it down so okay. what you do is you get back and look at it you mm -hmm. know get back and see what you did of course we haven't softened any of that spot with the uh no no white on that white yet. on it yet that's right mm -hmm. so we still got a step to go right dorothy says looks great to her <laughs> It looks really good, but we got to get to that, and then we'll uh, soften that even mm -hmm. some too. Ah, uh, uh, oh, that's my mother. Mom, hi, mom. Uh, <laughs> mom brought mom brought up a great point. Uh, we're gonna need to paint the edges of the shelves on the cabinet that's got the glass in it. Uh huh. It'll mm -hmm. show. Yep. I, I didn't yep. We're gonna have to degloss right. and paint those. You won't have mm -hmm. to worry about that little edge. It'll never be touched. Mm -hmm. You know. Never have to worry about certain areas the glosser on those. They've not been human hands on them. We will if you want to, though, for sure. I'll degloss them. <laughs> Paul is always trying to get out of cleaning something. You know me. I'm <laughs> well, I just think, hey, you never touching it once the glass goes back in there ever again. But it does need it on there. It needs to be 
coded. Yeah, it definitely is going to show for sure. Now look Good at me point. getting on the cabinet. Mm -hmm. Well, this is how fast we can get this done here. Uh -huh. so. All right, so let's roll on with the All white right. washing. Yep, so back to whitewash. Mm -hmm. Make sure you grab the whitewash, not the tenable. Double check. Got it. <laughs> I do have to look. You do. <laughs> For sure. Because the tenable antiquing gel actually looks white in the jar. It does. <laughs> so it is a little, little tricky. So the when good you thing about this out. is you can brush this. You can leave it. You can Like if you've got a mark you don't like the looks of, just mm -hmm. brush it. You don't have to rub it off. You just leave it on there, and it can, if you want to soften the whole thing even more, you can just leave it on there. I take it off, and then we'll go back and look. We'll leave it or remove it, whatever we need to do. You just don't want to leave streaks, brush marks in mm -hmm. it. I think something great to note, too, is you guys um, saw us, or maybe you didn't, but you can see back on this timeline. We literally just painted these countertops probably, well, it was at 3 o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. So we deglossed and painted these countertops at 3 o'clock. And now you see Paula sitting here rubbing the uh, whitewashing teaking gel off a of water these countertops. Based product, yeah. right. So it's already not. look how durable these countertops are. This is no sealer or anything on these. This is just the all-in-one paint. It's not lifting at all. Right. And this is just one coat of the all-in-one paint. It's true. Very true. So the more of this you put on, the more translucent the color looks, which is kind of what you're after, you know. You've already done that. You got a whole I other countertop know. over there. You haven't even done that. To I'm yet. softening it. <laughs> I got. I got to keep softening it. Well, while you're doing it, make sure you get that sparry tape. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that too. You drive me crazy for the past few weeks. All right. Don't that make it look better? I'm happy. Man. Where's Heather? You're happy. <laughs> Jared's happy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hit that front edge too while you're at it, then. Now, how many ever everybody else here is unhappy? Tell me where you need me to go next, please. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah. We already have it's been cookies. a long day. <laughs> cookies we've had. They've had all kinds of goodies here today. Yeah, give me something to keep me going. Sugar. That'll do it. Uh -huh. I'm on the best carb diet, y'all. <laughs> the best carb. I'm on the carb we're diet, gonna, not the no carb. Low carb. That's <laughs> right. I'm on the diet. best carb diet you've ever heard of. Eat what you want. And feel sorry for it. That's the one I'm on. That's wild how patterny that looks on camera and in person. It doesn't. Oh, look does that it look heavy pattern on the right camera? This spot does. That needs some soft. Oh, I'm I going guess. there. I'm going there. It doesn't look. It doesn't look as patterny in person. I'm now, by the sink, way. by the sink does for sure. I ain't done that yet. Okay. I'm not even been there. Yeah, I ain't got this. But That's just a little. Okay. Just hang with me. <laughs> now, highs and lows that you're seeing, if you're thinking, oops, that's highs and lows. Remember, we're top coating this with that sealer going on. So that's really going to set it all in. You mm -hmm. will see those highs and lows later. Do you know that? But stone has highs and lows, right? Stone has those, but the highs and lows, I think they're seeing is the sheen high and low. Mm -hmm. You won't see those sheen high and lows because we're going to fix that with the top coat going on. Right now you're seeing where I'm putting this on and swirling it, you know? And we are following the pattern down onto the edges, correct? Lightly. Yeah. Not a lot. Mm -hmm. Not a crazy lot. Now I'm going to go back and put some of the whitewash in here as just a highlight, okay? So I've kind of removed a lot of it here. Mm -hmm. That definitely softened it. Definitely. Much better. We definitely have us a white kitchen going on now. Uh -huh. I like it. I do too. I love a white countertop. I do too. I think it's inspiring. It really, mm -hmm. it is inspiring to cook. Honestly, everything looks good on it mm -hmm. when you set it on it, display food on it, whatever. It just looks good. Mm -hmm. It opens up 
all the decor mm-hmm. possibilities That's too. Right. Mm-hmm. Nothing clashes. Yeah. So my countertop in my home right now is very dark and I'm very limited. Yeah, you get limited when you have yeah. colors. Like yeah. my crazy countertop. Mm-hmm. It's pretty. It's heavy. Mm-hmm. A lot of pattern. Mm-hmm. And yours is light. It's just got a lot of... Oh, it's dark. You think it's dark? I think yours is Are you talking about only my kitchen? Yeah. It's mid-tone at best. Yeah. It's got a lot of dark It's got a lot of white it. color to it, though. It's a cream. Cream, kind of yeah. But it's got some heavy pattern to it. Heavy duty. And it does limit what you can put in there, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So Rhonda wants to know, how are we going to finish the cabinets with having to leave the countertops alone for 48 hours? We're just going to stretch over them like we were a minute ago. Mm-hmm. We're just not going to put, we just, uh, we use the sink a lot to put our, um, Try a roller. What do I do with it? Here? Yep. That may be it. Oh, oh sorry. I'd like to see the Coca-Cola roller as the main color. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a man thing, maybe. In case you hadn't <laughs> noticed by that laughter, Jared, that means, uh, that does sound crazy. But somebody would like it, mm-hmm. Jared. Yep. You wouldn't be the only one. Yeah. Somebody uh-huh. would like that. I because we don't like it. I said I'd like to see it. It's because it's not found in nature, uh-huh. you know. Blue veins. But you know what? There's a lot of granites out there that are colorful. Hey, our veins are blue. Mm-hmm. Your veins run blue in Kentucky. There you <laughs> go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Katie wants to know, would this uh, technique be possible if you did started with a black base and did white, gray, Absolutely. light veins? We did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, we did actually. It's uh, yeah, we did that on my face. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, you're saying it right in front of Jared. Again, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, check out our video on soapstone, oh, Katie. Yeah. If you will search uh, heirloom traditions and soapstone right here on Facebook, I guarantee it will come up for you. It is gorgeous. It is. It brilliant. actually might be. It's one of my favorites for sure. If I don't love a white countertop, then second is going to be that black soapstone. It's really realistic. It's re- it was beautiful. And we have a kit for that as well that you can check out. And definitely check out that uh, our daily deal that is actually a two-parter because we're going to let it go through tomorrow with tomorrow being the last day of the month. So that coupon code is DIY Deals with an S on the end, and that's all one word. And that's going to give you 36% savings, which is our best deal that we always give. That gives you $25 quartz. It also works on all of the bundles, like the Carrera Marble Kit that we're working on here. So it gives you lots of great deals. I'm going to run out of hands over here. (laughs) Um, So um, we were going to mention that we had just hit 400,000 followers on a Facebook page, were we not? Wasn't that one of our things we were talking about today? What? 400,000 yes, we, on we, Facebook. Yes, that's one of the reasons why we wanted to celebrate with this great deal. It was. You mentioned that to me and then forgot about I it. I did. You? That's right. Yep. Well, 400,000 there, and then we got almost 400,000 in our group. So yep. That's a whole a lot of people follow us above. On, we're coming up on 40,000 subscribers on YouTube. Which is very low, I think. What's happened over there? I like it, but... Mm-hmm. 40,000, we all at. Mm-hmm. We YouTube, just don't pay enough YouTube's attention over harder, there. Yeah. And we got 85,000, I think, on Instagram. So if you don't mm-hmm. follow us on Instagram, do follow us there, please. Mm-hmm. We would love it. And we got about 70,000 on TikTok along. Mm-hmm. That one happened fast. <laughs> and yes, Terry, what she is doing right now is softening the stamped image, which just, just soften it. helps it look more realistic. And you can soften it as much or as little as yep. you want to. Um, we just think that whitewashing and tiki and gel, think of it like a beauty filter. I like to hit these little areas. Just t- I'm just stippling it. Whatever I think looks a little poppy. You know, when you put your makeup on, you go, I need a little more blush right there. I mm-hmm. think you can just uh, keep on going until mm-hmm. you love it. Mm-hmm. You don't have to stop. You just keep on softening it until you feel like it looks as real as you wanted it to look. Mm-hmm. Stand mm-hmm. back. Mm-hmm. I would always say stand back and look at it because you want to make sure something's not standing out too much. Like that spot right there, just a little bright for me. Just touch it. Mm-hmm. Soften mm-hmm. down. There's a great shot right there. Stand back a little bit, Paula. Yeah. Uh, so you can see on the peninsula part, see how soft that is? And then okay, stand see into the corner. There you go. And then see the part to the right of the sink? See how harsh that is back there? There? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, behind on, you. Yeah. On down? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. not been anything uh-huh. done to it. Right. So you see the difference there. Yeah. So see how one looks like somebody walked on it with some wet paint on their shoes, and the that's other right. part looks very natural. So that's what that's why the whitewash antiquing gel. 
Yes, exactly. It does serve that purpose mm -hmm. to soften it. And it's whiter than Colosseum, so it gives us another layer of that white. And it helps the countertop stand out from the Colosseum cabinets as well, I think. So if y'all uh, miss that, I'm going to do it again right mm -hmm. here. I'm going to start. I'm going to go back to the sink separately. I'm going to just start doing that whitewashing right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Just going to rub it on, rub it in, rub it off. I think another great thing to mention for those who haven't seen it is that with the same faux pas uh, stamp tool that we're using, you can also, by creating, just continuing to stamp and laying down a lot more pattern with multiple colors, you can create a faux granite look. Oh yes, definitely. So Check we're doing up. minimal pattern with one color, two if you count the little pop of white that Paul is putting down. Um, but if you did two or three colors and you added more depth to it, and you laid down a lot more pattern, you would create a faux granite look. So we gave you all kinds of colorways to do that. Too. Yes. Are those those are where on our those Facebook? Those should be on the countertop 101 look on. Our Facebook video page. Mm -hmm. See that tab in the video tab and then you'll see there's a folder there or a uh, playlist. Mm -hmm. Hit that, show you all those. We did six great mm -hmm. ones, uh, uh, maybe more, seven for sure, mm -hmm. haven't we? About to do that on the, uh, my countertop. You are? Mm -hmm. Good deal. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you get this stuff. <laughs> Catherine says she's been dying to do a soapstone look and she's been patiently waiting uh, trying to find one that she loves and then here you are and you delivered one in that past video. I hope you loved it. It was really gorgeous and so easy. So easy. Mm -hmm. That one is so, mm -hmm. so, so easy. This over here, I, I hope you're close enough to see this one, Jared. This really looks great We over can see here. it pretty good. We'll take some good pictures of this because mm -hmm. it really looks so realistic. So Terry's asking about what type of sheen does the sealer have? It's got a a little more gloss than the than this cabinet that you're seeing mm -hmm. or this countertop was mm -hmm. originally just a little more it's hard to yep. hard to explain sheen mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's a little higher sheen than the paint has mm -hmm. on these cabinet doors here so it's closer to a satin i don't know about that no i almost mm, i don't think it's a satin it's uh, if you could say that it's higher than this I mean, there's actually ways to measure that, but let's not go to the technical side of it. Mm -hmm. But it is, it's not shiny. Mm -hmm. not Definitely, shiny. yeah. Has a sheen, another sheen. Mm -hmm. And Michelle's asking if the top feels smooth, even though you're going it back does. and adding all of these layers. It does. These layers are just little, I mean, just micron thin layers. So, and we're really virtually rubbing them off in essence. Mm -hmm because I'm rolling back through them with a dry roller. That flattens them down. And then of course, doing this and rubbing again, and these are not solid dry yet. They're Terry, the whitewash antiquing gel is in this Carrera Marble kit, yes. All right, so that got mm -hmm. that whole side. Doesn't that look great? This one really looks good. I really love this side. I like mm -hmm. the other side too, but mm -hmm. this one looks really good. I'm just kind of giving it just a little, little movement. So there's a great example too. You can see the difference between the side that she's softened some and the side that she hasn't. Like here, I haven't done anything to that yet. Just stippling here over this little piece where I come over the edge. Same here. With my wet brush. Jared, I'll try to stay out of your way right here. I'll do the same here. Trisha, one kit. Uh, of either our Carrera Marble Kit or our Soapstone Kit is enough to do an average kitchen for sure. Um, it would be more than enough to do this kitchen plus some. I would say unless you had a very large kitchen or had a really large kitchen island in addition to. That's what I've used out of this and I've used this product. I'm halfway through of this little eight ounce jar using the antiquing, the whitewash piece that we've used the most of here. Mm -hmm. That's it would the smallest the paint comes, so it would be rare that you would need more than one kit. All right, it really would be. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'll go ahead and stamp some more white in there. Mm -hmm. We're done. Michelle, people do typically paint uh, the inside of cabinet doors. Yes, only the doors. Most of the time, they don't roll into the actual cabinet, just the door. So, but you can if your cabinets are looking bad on the inside, you can mm -hmm. paint them. Mm -hmm. Let's just throw that in there. A lot of people ask that question: Do mm -hmm. you paint the inside? It's a lot of work, I will give you that, <laughs> to paint the inside. 
It's equivalent to painting a lot of bookcases. <laughs> yeah, not fun. No. So not fun. Leanne, if you need to do multiple coats of your base coat, let's say you've got black countertops and you're trying to make them white and do the square marble look and you need two or three coats, um, you're gonna wait however long it takes between coats for that paint to dry, typically about 30 to 45 minutes, let's say. Um, you just wanna make sure that paint is good and dry so that it doesn't lift between coats. And once that final coat is good and dry, you're ready to go ahead and start doing the faux pas. And as you can tell, we've not stopped here at all, so we're not waiting any time between the stamping and going right into that white wash. In fact, you really don't want to because you want that white wash to start to soften uh, the cobblestone. And then the dry roll right into that wet while it's wet, right. especially here on this white. That just helps to move it just softer, softer, softer. I tell you what, I would be for hire for this if I didn't have a real job. <laughs> You enjoy this? I really like doing this, and I'm sweating to death, but I wouldn't stop for nothing. I want, I want to finish it. I love it. it You're so almost fun. done. You're so, so close. I know. It's just so fun. If you haven't tried it, guys, you're going to like doing this. I got $20 for you to do mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Might, might have to retake it. Recant what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> $20 ain't going to cut it, huh? <laughs> hey, we already offered to do yours. What are you talking about? That was all the way back in March. You minute. think you think it goes away? Well, I've moved a little bit more forward on my kitchen since then. <laughs> I'm using the whitewash again, so just stamping mm -hmm. over some of this just to mm -hmm. add that little softening back. Almost there. So, how long have we been on the live, would you say? 45 minutes. There you 45 go. minutes. 45 minutes. We've just pretty much start to finish here, mm -hmm. other than the top coat now. You know, we're going to be Which going Which we can't do that. that for two days. Right. But that's the last and final step. Mm -hmm. Cutting right to the sink here with that white wash. Can you see all the white detail here? It's so subtle, so mm -hmm. soft, but it's there. Can you, yeah, can you zoom in on it? I want you to see that. Mm -hmm. Maybe, Jared, too, after that, maybe we can do some um, painting on this peninsula, maybe, and show them some up close on that. You see this? You can yeah. see it? Yeah, we can see it a little bit. All right. Whatever you don't like, you just tap, tap. Mm -hmm. Sounding like the Bob Ross there. Tap, tap. Just put a little happy little tap, tap on it. A little too little happy tree right there. Tap, tap. <laughs> I think he did say that, actually. <laughs> and I watched a lot of Bob Ross. I think so. All right, Paula, we're going to pan on this peninsula real quick and show okay. them some close-ups of right. that. Go for it. You get that done, you come back to me, we'll walk it out take of here. This and are we telling everybody to be sharing? Because we're going to get they, somebody. They have been sharing. Yes, they have. that friend, yes. Mm -hmm. Whoever shared, tagged a friend. Yeah. Go for it. Going to win again. Mm -hmm. 50 bucks today. And when are we going to announce that? Today. Right now in a minute. Oh, can we are? go get us a winner? The Dakota, Dakota on her phone mm -hmm. can go see the shares. Okay. If you will, Dakota, mm -hmm. take a peek. Find us a winner. How are we going to match up the share and the tag? Are we doing two separate people? Well, in the share, it's the same thing. Whoever shared it, then they have to tag a friend on that on their timeline. Tag that friend right there. And they can just put their name right in that share in the message. Tag your friend. You know what I'm saying? If you're confused, they're confused. I'm confused. When you share that post, put mm -hmm. your friend's name in it. Tag them. I think they've been tagging their friend on our comments. I don't care. That works too. I just don't know how we're going to find out who shared right. and all that. Stuff. <laughs> you figure that out. <laughs> you figure it out, Dakota. Okay. <laughs> if you were that nice and you did that, did you already paint over leave. there? I did. Oh, okay. I can go back there if you like. I was just going to move that rag so you'd have a nice clean shot. Oh, okay. That works too. You can do that. That way you have a good clean one. Hey guys, it's Friday. Friday. We're trying something new, and you know how that works. It's Friday. So you know it. Mm -hmm. Everything could go wrong. Can, will. And we're tired. We've been painting all day. We ain't done yet. 
be but a minute we will there you go all right so last little piece mm -hmm. last and final what right you behind you looks pretty good huh let's get this last little good white deal. cabin homeowners here to uh, Heather and Taylor have been so nice to us so gracious to us and uh, Vicki her mom has been here helping us paint and uh, helping Paula break her no carb diet and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pumpkin cookies and what else have we had here? we've had a s'mores cupcake and some Chex Mix <laughs> and when you're painting see all you don't mm -hmm. you just get to do what you got to do mm -hmm. here so. uh, we will be putting the water resistant sealer on this countertop, but obviously not today because we've got to wait the 48 hours. So we'll be coming back sometime next week. Um, they've got a little bit of traveling to do for work, so we'll be coming back here and doing that. Terry, you can actually go to like Lowe's and Home Depot. They will give you samples of countertops oh, a lot of perfect. times. That's a sometimes, good idea. sometimes they're hard to get out of them, though. Uh, have them right on but but a lot of times you know they're tiny 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 so i actually think it's better to just pull them up online you printed them on big legal paper yeah. that was great yeah she printed me out some black and some mm -hmm. because the ones the little samples are about the size of a business card and you get such a little tiny piece of a pattern that it's really i think not useful so i think if you'll just find a picture of a countertop that you like and print it out uh, you'll get a nice big amount of uh, pattern. So you can see. That'll where give you're you. Going. You need multiple. You need to see a picture of something that's got multiple veins on it. So if you actually kind of go to Pinterest and you search um, kitchen with Carrera marble countertops, mm -hmm. and you uh, the ones I find the easiest uh, to see are uh, kitchen with island white career marble countertops or something like that that's that way you get idea. the big pe the big kitchen island that has the marble on it and then that'll give you lots of marbling that you can see and you can follow along with that or um kitchen island black soapstone kitchen island um cream granite or whatever is if you know a granite name even better and then that'll help you get a nice clear picture because those pictures almost always include a nice overhead view of the kitchen island. Okay, so we've got a winner here. Oh, good. It is Jennifer Heard Hudson, and she tagged her friend Lisa Heard Bizinik. Uh, biz 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for doing that, and thank you uh, for playing along, and obviously for sharing this to your timeline. And we're going to get out of here, and you guys can. Uh, Send Melissa at htpaint.com a quick email so she can give you your $50 prize and you can go shop for all the great deals that we have going on right now. You can save 36% on all the products you've seen us working with here today. And then going some. And then some. Mm -hmm. What else? Everything. Oh, you got it. 36% and then some is what she says. Mm -hmm. And that means that what? Everything. 36% on everything. Everything. Oh, gotcha. Just not on these products, but on everything. Yep. That's what she's saying. It is Friday and I am tired. But yes, <laughs> uh, go to allinonepaint.com and use the code DIY Deals, D E A L S. You can get that and put everything in your cart. You're going to get free shipping over $40. Yep. And uh, everything is in there, including the faux pas and all the products that we used here. Mm -hmm. So they need to check out that Carrera Marble bundle, correct? Yep. yep and that will be at this savings. So mm -hmm. using that DIY deals, you can get all of these great deals. And so we hope you have enjoyed this. We hope you've learned something here. Maybe you give it a try and we're gonna finish up painting this kitchen. We're gonna get out of here and let these great folks go home and uh, maybe cook a meal.